let's get into this last one. So the question reads, and again, first things first, read the question sentence. So it's right here. Which of the following equations correctly relates the phone's charge Y as a percent and the number of videos watched X? So this type of question might feel a little vague and I'll be, I'll be straight with you. You know, that I can tell that if you are not used to these types of questions, this might give you pause. But if you take a look at the answer choices right over here, these are all written in the same exact way. And, and these are written almost like a formula. Who knows what this looks like? Eros, Drea, yeah. Y equals MX plus B. Let's write that down. Right over here. Let's write this down. Y equals MX plus B. So does that look familiar now? Does that look familiar now? Cool. Once we let that sink in, let's understand how we're going to figure out what numbers go where. And you might be noticing that these answers feature two specific numbers, 63 and 2. So it's really going to be about understanding where the 63 belongs and where the 2 belongs. And then you also notice that some of these answers have a negative involved, some have a positive. So you really have to understand, again, understand, not memorize, understand how this formula works right there. So let's go ahead and show you. So typically, your Y and your X, they're connected. So typically, your X is time, and your Y is typically the result after X, or the result after that much time. So let's write that down right there. And so making it this far in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's safe to assume that you like the way I teach. And that's the truth for a lot of folks here. So if you wanna learn more about my program, where you can get all of my practice questions, including 15,000 that'll help you succeed with step-by-step -step solutions, a lot of them having video solutions, then go ahead and reach out to me. That way you're not stuck in the same loop that so many people are stuck in with retaking the ASVAB over and over again, when the solution to getting a higher score is right here in front of your face. Again, go ahead and text me, ask me about my full program, or click the link in the description to learn more about it. But at the end of the day, sign up, get the score you want, and that job you deserve. Now, from here, notice that we're not looking to figure out what X and Y are. We're looking to figure out what what are, what M, and what B are. Notice, it's the M and the B. Those are the two letters or variables that actually have something in place for them. So let's understand what the M and the B are. The B is the easiest one. Everybody, B stands for what? In word problems, you know, in, in our world, B stands for what happened in the beginning. That's right. B stands for what happened in the beginning. So let me write that down for you here. So B is what happened in the beginning, what you have in the beginning. Typically in the math, pure math knowledge world, B is your Y intercept or your initial value in word problems. But initial just means beginning. So we could call it like that. Now the M, it's gonna be a word that you're very familiar with. It starts with an R. In the word problem world, M stands for what? Yep. M stands for rate. M stands for your rate. Let me use red for the rate. So in truth, everybody, there are two things you need to focus on, your rate and your beginning. Your rate and your beginning amount. If you know those two things, you're good. Absolutely fine. If you're not totally fine, well, guess what? I'll tell you what unit all three of these are from in a moment, but this one is gonna be solving equations word problems, unit six. But don't worry, at the end of this one, I'm gonna go back to the first, second, and third, write down the units for all of them. So, two things. Let's go ahead and get to it here, everybody. Let's read what's happening. Andrew's phone battery began with a charge of 
and consumes 2% for every video he watches. It's a big hint. Anthony's phone battery began with a charge of 63%. Everybody, does this seem a lot easier now that you know what you're looking for? Does this seem a lot easier now that you know what your formula means, what the pieces mean? So that's what practice helps you do. You know, that's what actually learning and understanding the material does versus just straight memorization. But there we are. We're good. Let's go ahead and highlight that right here in purple began with a charge of 63%. So I can say that that is right there, 63. And now when we look at the rate here, we see that it consumes 2% for every video he watches. So let me give you a quick crash course on, hey coach, how do we know if this rate is positive or negative? How do we know that? Well, you ask the question, hey, is this rate positively affecting the final result or is it negatively affecting the final result? And the final result is your why. Your why is the phone's battery. So everybody, if our phone battery is at 63% in the beginning and it consumes 2% for every video that we watch, what does that mean? Does that mean our battery is gonna be charging, going up as we watch videos? Or does it mean that it is going down as we watch videos? Which one is it gonna be? That's right, it's reducing, it's going down. When you watch videos on your phone without charging it, if you're not charging it and you're watching videos, that battery's going down. That battery life is going down. And so, another phrase that you can look at here is the phrase or the word consumes consumes making sure that they're telling you they're, they're speaking to you hey your battery life is going down and so with that said your rate is going to be two but it'll be a negative two again negative because battery goes down it's so small let me just zoom in here sorry about that guys so because the battery goes down because the battery goes down. My part of people, before I continue, does that make sense to you? We are marking that 2%, that negative two, we're marking it as negative because the battery is going down by 2% for every video. Sweet. Sweet, if that makes sense then, we're set because the final answer is gonna be Y equals negative two, that's the M, you put your X down, and then your B is plus 63 because you started with a positive 63% on the battery and it's gonna go down. Well, that's it. And that makes our answer D, negative 2X plus 63. And now that you're done with the video, we have our full program for free for a full week, no credit card required. I want you to get access to all of the live classes, practice problems and support every step of the way. And I'm here to prove it to you. Go ahead, text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 and you're good to go.